I will give all of my new beginners introduction to the growing method that has been controversial for years, known as water culture. Stay tuned. I am going to simplify this as best as I can because it is simple. Many of us have went and gone to someone's house and you have seen them with a plant sitting in a jar of water. Well, Fab Pals, the reason that they are doing that is because they are propagating the plant, meaning that they are trying to get a whole new plant from a cutting of a plant. Now, that is not going to be your case with the Phalaenopsis orchid. Your Phalaenopsis orchids have epiphytic roots, meaning that their roots grow above the soil, okay? Meaning that they like air on their roots, okay? That's the type of roots that they have. Now, the water culture method, I will first begin to tell you why you would want to do water culture. If you are a new beginner and you have no potting mix, you're trying to understand what potting mix to use for your Phalaenopsis orchid and you don't have any, that is the quickest way to maintain your Phalaenopsis orchid until you're able to get the potting mix of your choice, okay? So take for instance that you have your Phalaenopsis orchid in your potting mix, and no matter how much you water your Phalaenopsis orchid, it just doesn't seem to stay moist. Okay, now another thing is if you see those fungus nets flying around the media, that might mean or that is an indication that you have some roots that have died, okay? And those fungus nets are eating off of the decaying material in your pot. That is why you would want to take it out of the pot and shortly until it's able to grow new roots such as this one, typically this would be the opt optimal time to repot your Phalaenopsis orchid in new media when the new roots are coming out. Your Phalaenopsis own is dying leg, okay? Fab Pals is almost gone. So before it dies, especially if you have new root production, go ahead and put in some water culture for just a short period of time until you have the amount of roots that the orchid will need to sustain itself, Fab Pals. Now, next, we are going to talk about how I do my my version of water culture, which is very effective, okay? Yes, girl, it's effective because, look, I got a flower spike. Yes, God. And this orchid has only been here for four weeks. Now, Foul Pals, first and foremost, if you put your Phalaenopsis in water culture and you're starting to deal with um, white mold, black mold, fuzzy water, Look how clear my water is. And this is rainwater, okay? So if you have any of those problems with your Phalaenopsis orchid, that Phalaenopsis orchid, it does not like water culture. The first thing new beginners need to know with your sick, dehydrated, and rootless Phalaenopsis is that, <laughs> is that um, these are like pets, people, they are creatures, meaning that they are individuals, honey. They need their own unique thing. All of the, you can't treat them all the same, unfortunately, foul pals. So, the way that I do water culture is, as you can see, the amount of water that's in here, which is just a drop, okay? It's just a drop. You want to make sure that just the base of the Phalaenopsis orchid is touching the water. Just the base. You don't want the water sitting. Let me pull it out so you can better see. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. So you don't want the water sitting all the way up here, foul pals. You want it just at the bottom. Now, if I break this spike, you guys know what happened. Just down here is where you want the Phalaenopsis orchid to sit, right at the bottom, okay? And you want to do that every day, okay? You want to put the water in there in the daytime and then take it out at night. So, I would leave the Phalaenopsis orchid in the water between 12 to 24 hours. Afterwards, if you choose to do it for 24 hours, let it dry for 12 to 24 hours. I would suggest doing it every 12 hours until you get into the routine of waking up every day, putting fresh, pure water inside of the container, okay, Fab Pals? 
You want to choose a glass container that you keep clean at least once a week. Anytime that you see that white residue around your pot is a good indication to go ahead and clean it. Because if you don't, then it's going to start bringing bacteria and all kind of foolishness inside of the pot. And you don't want it. You want it a very clean, pure environment that is going to promote good root production, pal, pals. Also, the type of water that you use is very effective. You want to use distilled water or you want to use um, brain water or reverse osmosis water, which is just tap water that you sit out for three days to, until all of the ammonia and I mean, all of the ammonia and chlorine dissipates, spout pals. You can do that in a bucket. Now, if you stay tuned, I will show you guys how. Now, before you use tap water, foul pals, you want to get you a TDS meter, okay? And that is going to measure the um, parts per million in your water. That's basically like dirt, bacteria, well, not bacteria, but just any type of particles in your water. And this is going to let you know if the water that you have out of your tap is pure enough to use for water culture, okay? Now, because you are using such pure water, how you are going to supplement your Phalaenopsis orchid is going to be through foliar feeding. That's what I do. Anytime dealing with water culture and foliar feeding, you need to have a strong knowledge of exactly what you are feeding your Phalaenopsis orchid. Now, I'm a new beginner such as you, but honey, mama did her research. Mama was in those books. I will leave a video link to my MPK video in an info card above. Also, it's a red button over there. If you click it, you are instantly subscribed to this channel. Also, ring the bell, honey, because this is the channel that you want to be notified when a video is being released okay now this right here is going to be some seaweed extract they call it kelp okay it's liquefied kelp now this is what i use to do a foliar feed okay for my phalaenopsis orchid growing in water culture now if you see right here it says foliar feed root soil drench okay so on the back of this it lets you know that it's nitrogen in addition to nitrogen is um predominantly potassium now real quickly n p k okay that p is for potassium so you are supplementing your phalaenopsis orchid with potassium and a little bit of nitrogen because it's not able to absorb those nutrients through the roots because you're using pure water as until you're able to have a pot full of roots okay now on the back of this and as i said i don't endorse anyone what you're looking for is just seaweed extract any brand will do okay um on the back of it it says plants may require additional applications to overcome environmental and stressful conditions it is preferable to increase the frequency of application rather than the increase the concentration of the solution okay so they are telling you automatically honey do a little dab or do you so what I have right here is just a little leftover distilled water, okay? As you can see, it's not much at all. And if you watch my How to Water a Phalaenopsis Orchid, it lets you know, honey, that as long as you're not using too much, you will be okay. The first thing I'm going to do is shake it up. You want to shake it real good. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Yes, honey, yes. Now... You see, honey, it looks a fool. It looks a fool. But let me show you, fair pals. That's because the top came off. I'm sorry. Oh. So this is, this actually is the top, fair pals. So let me show you. I'm just going to use one drop. Boom. You see it? That's all. So the next step is going to be to shake up the, um, the steel water and the fertilizer. Okay, as you can see, the water of it is still clear. Okay, it's not too dark. 
It's darker than what I would it had expected, but this is going to be okay. Now, if you are afraid to do that, or if you use a full gallon, I would still use just one drop, two at the most. As they said, honey, you saw it for yourself. It is better. Foul pals, I would let this sit um, for a few minutes, maybe 30 minutes, to make sure it, that it's all in there good. Then the next thing that I'm do going to do is get your a fine mist bottle, meaning that the spray of it is very fine, okay? It's not something that's going to cause your phalaenopsis to have water sitting in the crown or between your leaves. You want it to come out just like rain would, you see? And so that's what they mean when they say it's better to increase the application of it rather than the concentration of it. So what I do is, after I empty out my water at nighttime, because my Phalaenopsis orchids, they are um, open to receive humidity and they're open to receive moisture through their leaves predominantly at night. That's when they are making that gas exchange foul pals. So anytime that I come downstairs, I just get my Mr. Skeet, Skeet, Skeet. You want to have a good fan going around to um, make sure that it's drying effectively. But that's the reason that you have the fine Mr. to not have that problem. So, Fab Pals, I hope that I was able to simplify it for you. I hope that you understand what water culture is and how to start water culture. Now, if you stay tuned to a future video, I will show you how to convert your Phalaenopsis orchid from bark, from moss, to water culture. Until next time!